Hi, hello, Anna Maria here. Hope you are doing well. Welcome. If you enjoy these walking steps, please subscribe and share. Are you ready? Where are your sneakers? <laughs> Come for a walk with me. Put your earphones on, go out, start easily following your natural rhythm. Is it necessary to stretch our legs and body after walking for more than an hour? Hi, Angela. Thank you for that question. I'm very passionate about this issue, so our step-by-step -step episode today is about stretching. Why stretching is important? First of all, I want to say that almost all the information I'm going to share with you about this topic pop out from the most popular fitness books of all time, translated in 23 languages. If I remember well, the original edition has sold over 3 million copies worldwide. The title is pretty easy. Stretching. <laughs> yeah, simple and clear. That's a really excellent book written by Bob Anderson, an American runner who has taught stretching for over 30 years. There's a thing I appreciate a lot in this book. Every single exercise is illustrated together with the essential warm-up activity to avoid any possible injury. Let's dive in! Stretching keeps the muscles flexible, strong and healthy. And you know, we need that flexibility to maintain a range of motion in the joints, right? Without it, the muscles shorten and become tight. Then, when you call on the muscles for activity, they are weak and unable to extend all the way. Who should stretch? Everyone can learn to stretch regardless of age or flexibility. So, if you are healthy, without any specific physical problems, you can learn how to stretch safely and enjoyably. When to stretch? Stretching can be done anytime you feel like it. For example, in the morning, before the start of your day, at work to release nervous tension, after sitting or standing for a long time, when you feel stiff, or when watching TV, listening to music, reading or sitting and talking, <laughs> whenever you want. How to stretch? Warm up prior to stretching, even only five minutes. This is essential to ensure the maximum benefit from it. Anyway, there is a right and a wrong way to stretch. The right way is a relaxed stretch with your attention focused on the muscles being stretched. 
The wrong one is to bounce up and down or to stretch to the point of pain. These methods, according to Bob Anderson, can actually do more harm than good. Imagine we are walking together and now it's time to stretch. As regards my personal stretching experience, <laughs> when I begin a stretch, I spend 10-15 seconds in the easy stretch. No bouncing. Then I go to the point where I feel a mild tension. I count slowly 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on and I try to relax as I hold the stretch. You should be able to say, I feel the stretch, but it's not painful. Remember to breathe slowly and deeply during your stretching. Really, really, really important. That helps to relax your muscles, promotes blood flow, and increases the delivery of oxygen to your muscles. Is it better to stretch before or after walking? I know, you know, we are different every day. Some days, oh my goodness, we are tighter. Other days, loser. But before your walk, stretching keeps your body ready for movement. During your walk, it increases your performance and after, it decreases muscle soreness. Angela, this is for you. Stretching after your walking and after any form of exercise is extremely important. It will reduce any stiffness you may feel the next day, increases your flexibility and reduces the risk of injury. So, stretching is a simple, gentle activity that can be done by anyone, anywhere, at any time, with the right approach. Bob Anderson, in his book, recommends to take it slowly, especially in the beginning. I'm going to say goodbye, but before I do, here's a quote directly from Stretching by Bob Anderson for all of you listening to me until now. Don't compare yourself with others. Even if you're tight or inflexible, don't let this stop you from stretching and improving yourself. As always, I appreciate you coming and listening to me. And if you enjoy this episode, please subscribe and share. I'll put your suggestions, your ideas, your questions, your comments on a list and use them step by step for our next episodes. Have a great day and don't forget to get out and make your body and mind feeling better. Bye bye for now!